it's it's been this this debate right which is like streamers hate lurkers blah 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 i don't i don't think a lot of streamers hate lurkers um i think the conversation around lurkers stems from some people who think that uh people lurking or not engaging in chat um doesn't add any value to their channel but i don't think they understand exactly what the point is of supporting your favorite streamers while lurking um and what that actually does so we're going to kind of check this out and we're going to see sort of what this is and, and where it goes so i'm, I'm going to tell you guys right now i'm going to record a video today called streamers hate lurkers streamers hate lurkers and and everybody you know everybody will, will will say the opposite say no i welcome i welcome lurkers lurkers are welcome in my stream i i now i'm wondering how he's gonna boy because like he's got a really clickbaity title on this video so we need to get into the part about the lurkers and see where he's gonna go with this I want i want lurkers if you want to watch my stream please go ahead and do so if you got to do other things i completely understand i appreciate having you here but but in reality every streamer hates lurkers some of them hate them more than others because of the fact that if you are a lurker you don't uh, you know you're not typing in chat and that means that there's less things for me to react to and we, if there's nobody typing in chat when somebody new comes in they're gonna be like oh this chat's kind of dead maybe i'll go somewhere else but nobody's gonna ever say that nobody's gonna ever say that because ultimately 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 i'm waiting to hear if this is satire before i jump in uh the reason why people end up worrying about their numbers is because they have too many people who are lurking or that, that are not actively uh, typing and then they'll blame twitch saying let's lack of discovery and all these other things but ultimately if you uh it, it lurkers are fine lurkers are great i think lurkers are a fantastic thing I, I appreciate the fact that most of you guys lurk um and, and that's gonna be true for a lot of channels and that the only reason why i think it's totally fine and, and don't mind at all is because i don't stress about my ccv i'm not concerned right. about whether or not the people watching are actively consuming the content i'm not worried about that i, I i'm not worried about getting i'm, I'm waiting to numbers. see I, I, because he said like and maybe i just misunderstood maybe he was saying other people would say and now he's talking about himself i need to that's why i'm like concentrating I've never been when I had 20 viewers, when I had 30 viewers, when I had 40 viewers, I didn't care if people lurked or not. If you wanted to lurk, great. But I took that as a personal responsibility to be like, I need to create interesting, engaging content that people mm -hmm. want to actually engage and interact with right. and not passively uh, consume. That was my choice. I decided mm -hmm. that. A and I said, hey, look, uh, how am I going to get there? Well, over long time frames, that's probably going to be... Uh, uh, what tells me whether I'm a success or not, right? Right. I don't care month to month that I had 27 and then went down to 26 and then went down to 21. You find he's already contradicted himself a little bit. What are we watching, Eric? So this video is tie is titled Twitch Hates Lurkers. Um, and the first like seven minutes or so, eight minutes, he kind of explained how like Twitch and Twitch viewership works. And now he's getting over to the point where like he's saying Twitch hates lurkers. Um, and then it sounded to me like he was saying that, you know, Twitch streamers won't admit it, but all Twitch streamers hate lurkers. And then he's like, but me, I don't hate lurkers. I just decided to make more engaging content, but I'm waiting for him to go back and, and, and like, because it felt like he, he like started on one end and then went to the other end. Um, and I want to, I want to kind of figure out what's going on with this. How you doing, Mayruko? I don't mind that I had 33 and then went down to 30, 28, 27, 24. I don't mind that in September 2022, I had 132 and then 117. And then in December, I only had seven. Every streamer hates Lurker, uh, but they do, but I love Lurkers. Yeah, that is that is what I heard, right? And that's what I heard. Every streamer hates Lurkers. They may not say it, but they do. Um, but I don't. I love my Lurkers. And that, and I want to let him get through this because that's the point I want to address. 71, didn't care. Because on the grand scheme of things, we're trending up. I'm creating content that I think is is good. Uh, I, and and I, I'm, I'm trying I'm to be interesting and engaging and, and hopefully provide reasons for you guys to directly interact. I don't see it, a, I, again, from my perspective, I think it's, it's, it's exciting to get people to talk. 
Does lurking not count towards viewership? Lurking does, but only if the player is actively playing video. So if you like, if you take the tab and, and it's on Chrome and you put it in the background and for whatever reason, it just stops. It stops playing video for any reason. You no longer count as a viewer. And, and, and to engage in conversation in ways that, that, that encourage you out of a lurk. So if, if you're concerned about viewer count, then you should be doing things to actively encourage people to participate, not guilt people, not be like, no, I love lurkers, but can you not lurk so much? I love you guys, but please lurk a little bit less than you currently do. I love lurkers. I love lurkers. I love lurkers. Lurkers are always welcome here. If you're doing things, totally fine. But maybe can you, can you guys not lurk so much? Like that's what's happening right now. Right. Any so what he's talking about is people... So he's totally not guilting people, right? And that's what he's talking about right now is that other people, it, it's becoming sort of a trend on like like uh, Twitch Twitter or Twitter Twitch or however you want to say it, where like people people here lately have been coming out saying that they have issues with lurkers. Um, and I don't think, and I agree with some of the points that he's made so far, like your content is your content. And if people are either disengaging with your content, um, or your viewership's going down. It has nothing to do with Twitch, and Twitch isn't manipulating your numbers, first and foremost. It's not happening. Um, as for the lurker part, I personally love having people lurk in my channel. Um, like everybody, obviously, I would love to have a, a, a thriving, active, engaged audience like, like I've had in the past, but I understand that I've really drifted on my content. My content's been all over the place. And we have a lot of awesome community members who might not be engaged with content I'm making at the time, but want to support me, right? But I would never say lurkers are a bad thing. And the reason for that is lurkers help boost your view numbers, which move you higher in directories, which lead to better discoverability of your content. Now, if your content is but, then the lurkers that are helping you out, you're failing the lurkers. Um, but the big guys, the big, the big mega streamers, they'll, they'll, they've all been on record saying they view bot, they use embeds, they do all this stuff to push themselves high enough up in the view list, right, to get their AIP and get their ad revenue, and to be like super hyper competitive. Lurking is the best way to help support a small streamer that you know that maybe you can't support them financially or whatever, but you want to help them succeed um, even if you can't consume the content because you're helping them get discovered. The same thing the big guys are doing, they're just paying for it. So, you're having, uh, who is this guy? His name's, uh, his name's Zach, and uh, I see him all the time on Twitter. Um, and Bear kind of linked this video, and I wanted to check it out and see kind of what he was saying. Um, even if we can't watch and engage, I just don't watch. I'm doing awesome, Eric. Uh, forever lurking in the shadow. I love you for that, Psycho. Anytime you hear people that are complaining about lurkers not counting, or, or viewership numbers are down, or, or all these things, is that, or, or it's like, you know, it's, it's, it's a little bit, it's ultimately a, a sentiment of, I hate lurkers, which is going to be common. <laughs> Nobody's going to say it. No one's going to say it. No one's going to say it. No one's going to come out there and be like, I hate lurkers because it's clickbait. It's not actually true. It's clickbait. But that's ultimately the sentiment of you want people to chat. You want people to chat. See, this is where I'm getting confused because uh, maybe it's just me, but it feels like he's like, nobody wants to say this. We all hate lurkers. We don't hate them. We just want them to engage more, um, which wanting people to engage more is a factual statement. Um, but that all boils down to your content. You do. And has nothing to do with the viewer. Do you know what I mean? You do. you do. Every streamer does. It's so much easier to stream when you have a chat to talk to. That is true. It is 10 times easier to produce content when there's chat going on. But that's the streamer's responsibility, not the chat's responsibility. He says he wants people to engage uh, with their streams, but that's not hating lurkers because you're still getting the views. Right. That's what I mean. Like, this is a, such a confusing video. Lurkers don't chat. They're fine to be there, but they don't chat. 
what I'm trying to say here, and I'm good. This is what I. This is the meat and bones. Hopefully that we get to doing it in a clickbaity way and, and, and being being uh being being a little bit off the rails and intentionally inflammatory is because it is going to you know there's a level of truth in it in that a lurker ultimately doesn't necessarily help a stream grow. It did in the past. I will say that. I all right. Before he goes any further, I fundamentally disagree with that statement and the reason i fundamentally disagree is because the higher you are up in a directory the easier it is for discoverability there are two places you want to be in a twitch directory the very bottom or the top so when people scroll down the first couple pages you either want to be up there or you want to be at the very bottom and the reason is, if you're at the very bottom, that's where people go when they want to chat. They go to a brand new directory, they sort the channel from views lowest to highest, it inverts the pages, and then they start at the bottom and they scroll down to find a channel that they think they will like. Purely based off of the title and the view of the stream, right? So they'll look, if they're a cam person, they'll look for a cam, they'll scroll down and go, okay, this person has a cam, they'll take their preference, male or female, or whatever gender whatever they'll, they'll pick whatever they want cam no cam vtube no no vtube whatever and then they'll look at that and they'll look at the title and they'll go is this where i want to go because i want to actively chat and then they'll jump in and then they'll get in and they'll try to chat and they'll see if they can engage in what they think of the content the other person is the person that's there for the game and they want to see gameplay and they're going to look they're going to look from top to bottom because they want a high quality, well-produced stream by somebody that's probably professional. That's why they're at the top of the directory. Um, and they may or may not ever chat. And they may never follow the channel. They might pop in for, for that day and then leave. Um, so you need to be either at the bottom or the top. The bottom doesn't pay your mortgage, so you need to be at the top. Um, so having people lurk pushes you up there. That's where you want to be. Um, having active chatters pushes you up there too, but even people lurking will push you up there. Did I nail your process, Panda Launcher? Is that how you do it? That's how I did it. When I first came to Twitch, um, I would only watch large channels of YouTube creators that I knew, or I would watch small channels where I could actively talk to the person while they were gaming. And when I did that, I would go into any directory and I would flip it from uh, views highest to lowest to views lowest to highest. And I would scroll through and try to find what I wanted to watch and then go in that way. The, the, one of the funny things about Twitch, as, as it's kind of evolved, uh, when, when, when all of Twitch was organized by viewers high to low, yeah, you'd want more lurkers. You'd want more people. You'd want more anything to increase the overall view count on your thing, which would put you higher up in really the only discovery method, which is uh, 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 sorting by category. Again, this is before they introduced recommended. Keep in mind. Rec okay. Let's let us let him talk because recommended, recommended only works if you have Twitch viewing history, right? I would assume because it, it has to use some sort of AI learning based on the channels that you've watched previously um, as to pick who it's going to recommend. Other than that, it's going to pick who it's going to recommend from its own algorithm, which means you can't do anything for that discoverability. Uh, that was the only way to get more people to watch your streams, which is why the top streamers are the top streamers. They all work with each other. They all hosted each other. They all ultimately had this kind of place that, that the kingmaker of Twitch's lack of discovery kept them kings. But now it's less important. It's less important. Look at my recommended for just chatting. Bits. 1.2K, 23, 10, uh, 295, 46, 23, 72, 120, 13, right? This is not high to low. This is based upon recommended. We actually have some level of discovery here for people who don't have a high view count. Now we, we do have some level of discovery, but there's no way to really influence it as a creator. Now, what I will say now, again, and why I, why I go back to the to the to the clickbait of all streamers hate lurkers, is that when you join a stream, 
Um, I was looking for grill streamer. You know, support my fellow A's. Kept scrolling past you. Wouldn't find anyone, so I settled on. And vest high guy, so glad. I appreciate you. See, that's the thing. Like, I I think that's that's typically the way people find things. I mean, that's how I do it. When you join a stream, what's going to be the indicator of whether you stay or not? You might listen to the streamer a little bit, but you're probably going to look at chat. You're probably going to see if people are actively engaged there, which is, again, why Twitch now has a, a preload of previous chat. Because if you jump into a stream with no active chat, are you going to be the first one to actually speak up? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. So I so I see his point, and I'll agree that the preload in chat and coming into a channel with people actively chatting helps break the ice, right, for you as a chatter so you don't feel like you're out on an island. However, I think that it is way more important as a viewer if you want to engage with the streamer that the streamer engages with you when you speak up in chat. You don't care if the streamer is talking to other viewers and not you. It's actually worse if the streamer is talking to other viewers and completely ignoring you in all of your comments. That'll make you leave faster. Um, so I think it's nice to have an active chat and to show that it's a great place to hang out and be and to, to form some community. Um, but I don't think that the active chat is going to make people stay unless they're looking for an active chat. If somebody is looking, I don't want to say this. If somebody's coming to a, to a, tra a channel because they want to watch gameplay, then they want to see gameplay. They don't care what's going on with the chat. They don't care if the streamer's talking to them. If somebody's coming because they want somebody to chat to, then all they're going to care is that the streamer is talking to them in chat. If they want a active community to join, then they're going to want to find a chat that is already moving and in its own ecosystem with a content creator that is uh, picking out comments and in interacting and engaging with chat as a whole. I don't think that any one of those uh, is more important than the other. So I'll disagree with this point here. But if you see some people already typing, maybe you feel a little bit more comfortable jumping. Interact with chat or at least make the content interesting, not just talking. Yeah, I'll agree, Red. And that's the thing. His point was people want... His point is lurkers are not important. Active chatters are important. Now that Twitch has changed things, active chatters are less, or er, lurkers are less important because of discoverability. People come to Twitch because they want this, they want that chat window to be moving. And I don't think that is good because that is a generalization. And generalizations don't work well. Jumping in and knowing where things were when you came in, what people are talking about. This is a game changer that effectively is, hey, <laughs> lurkers type. Don't just come in and watch the stream, come in and type. Look, there's already some text here, come type some more. So lurkers are great, lurkers are fantastic. They're gonna increase your overall CCV. They're going to increase the number. Your, your overall viewership number is going to go up if you have more people lurking. But, but it's a terrible metric to consider on short time frames. My average viewership is down 49% over the last seven days. Now, his average viewership is down 49% over the last, or 100 viewers over the last seven days. But an astute person would have noticed that he got hit with a giant raid or something of the sort because one of his graphs before showed that his numbers were just absolutely bonkers for February. Damn. How'd that happen? Man. I just told you how it happened. And I got to feel bad about myself. I had, I had a stream that had only had 85 average viewers. Damn, I got to feel bad. If I go on the 30-day, okay. See that, see that spike? That's the spike we were talking about. 1,200, 1,100 viewers. Okay. Well, now it's not so bad. Up 42%. If I go on the 90-day, well, damn, down 16%. He's down 16%, and that's with a giant raid. <laughs> I, I see his point. 
never take anything in the in the micro, right? Like look at look at all of your stuff over long term and make decisions. But that's a normal business. You don't always look at short term. But if I go, but you do have to pay attention to short term as well. You can't only look at long term metrics. You have to evaluate short term and long term. Long term, this is where you CCV starts to matter. This is where you can actually see what viewership trends are having. You're having because day to day, week to week, month to month, it might be too short. There's too many things that can change. Maybe you got a huge host from Ninja. Maybe maybe uh, your front page one day. All those kind of things are ultimately going to have these massive ups and downs in terms of your overall viewership. Right. But on the long term, as long as your chart looks like that, generally trending up, who cares about the day-to-day -day number of people that are in your chat? Who cares about the number of lurkers? Who cares about the number of chatters? Who cares about that CCV number? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Long time frame, that's when it does. So the, the whole premise of focusing on CCV and being like, Normal people care. I mean, everybody is going to care. Um, the point is not to care as much. And that is that is the important part. You no, know, I have to get partner numbers and the partner push and we have to get there. What a what a what, what a bad mentality to be stuck in because it's not going to get you there. It's not going to get you there. People people for, for every bit that you feel better when you have a big number like so, you're maybe that increases your mood 10%, right? Like, damn, I feel so good about myself. This month we did so good. We had 136 average viewers. And then two months later, you're going to be like, oh, fuck, I only had 70 average viewers. I'm the worst streamer. I've lost everything. It's all over. And that's the sentiment that ends up happening is when people have down periods, they look for reasons to, to, to blame why they're struggling. You, you need to evaluate your content. Like, I know that my number, like, so if Zach comes and looks at my stuff, he's going to be like, well, why would anybody ever listen to this guy? Look, he's been downward trending forever or whatever. Um, that's because I made changes to my channel. Um, and we are still trying to recover and, and turn the channel around. Um, I'm aware of that. But if you have a down month, you have to look and see what you did. That was different. You need to be aware of that as well. They, they, they look for anything to be like, how can I get myself through this? How can I, how can I figure this out? I have, what, what, what did I do? What did I change? What did my content get to that, that all of a sudden people hate me? And it happens. I hear it all the time. I hear it so much from streamers. And you have to that look. mood ultimately impacts their content where they continue to drop. You can't spend your time. All right. But if you're streaming to 50 people, uh, you would care if five went away. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's better to focus on the content you're creating rather than the numbers because if content's improving, like-minded people will come find you. There, it is. The, when it gets challenging, okay, so when this gets challenging for streamers and is when they use it as income. Like when this isn't just a hobby or some secondary thing you do, and you are going to pay your mortgage or you're going to pay your your bills um, and all of a sudden you notice a drop in your content now you're freaking out because you can't pay your bills because streaming isn't salaried you don't make you you don't go well I'm a partnered streamer so I'm guaranteed forty five thousand dollars a year no matter what content I make let's focus on making good content it doesn't work that way um, it, it doesn't work that way at all but if you're streaming 15 people, you would care if five went away? You would, 100%. If you don't care, you end up streaming yourself friends and not changing anything to help yourself? Exactly. You have to pay attention to what's going on long-term and short-term. Only focusing on long-term or only for focusing on short-term are both bad. That's why in business, you do all of it. And you have different people within your organization to look at those different time periods. You have frontline managers that look at the day to day. You have supervisors who look at the weekly. You have managers who look at the monthly. You have vice presidents that look at the years. And you've got CEOs in your C suite that look at the five to 10 year. And all of that aggregate data comes together. And then you make a decision because you've, you've looked at all of it. You can't say, don't look at this. You can say, don't let it affect you as much or don't weigh it as much, but you have to look at it because if you make a change, 
and it affects you negatively, you have to be able to, to either shift or buckle up and know that the directional shift you've, you've put yourself in is going to tank your business and you're going to have to recover. Um, the reason you went back to working a job and didn't pursue being a realtor anymore, exactly. Time worrying about CCV. All the time you worry about CCV is better spent working on creating better content, coming up with ways in, 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 to entice people to, to, to chat, to come up, make it a challenge of your, of your stream. Do you have a, 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 a chat counter that if they beat, you get an extra hour of stream? Like there's ways in which you can do stuff that turns a problem into something that creates better content. And that's the way you should be looking at it. So to go back to this post. I'm right? sorry, like I, I just kind of like really went off on the deep end on that. This is a post of recommendations. Based upon weeks of research, this is what you have to do for this person's stream in order to count. Because we're going to blame Twitch for not counting my viewership. You get it? Which, okay. which is essentially saying, hey, learn. I, I'm going to have to decide how much of this I want to put up on my video because the whole first like 10 minutes, right, was really nothing to do with lurking. It was just how it was just how Twitch counts a viewer and I can shorten that up. Lurker, stop fucking lurking so much. Watch my fucking stream and chat. <laughs> That's what this is saying. When first entering a chat, <laughs> do command lurk. <laughs> so fuck your lurk. Immediately stop lurking. <laughs> If you join the stream, you can't lurk. No lurker is allowed in chat. Click your daily. Your mom, uh, your real and your dad owns no business. You've literally watched people make these decisions, not just in a streaming way. Exactly. If you know anybody that has ever worked in business or worked for a company and, and had to make l literal decisions, um, you know that everything is not a vacuum, right? You have to look at a lot of information. The bonuses and every hour send a heart into chat that says a chatter has to send three messages in a two minute time span to count as a viewer. So now we're just coming up with things. Now we're just going, okay, now you get to send two, three messages every two minutes. Otherwise you don't count. If you send, if you send two messages, you're still a lurker, you pieces of shit. No fucking lurkers. Everybody count to three. Everybody count to three right now. One, two, three. I need to see everybody doing it. If they don't chat for two minutes, they do not count any longer. So, they, so, so again, this, this, is, this is why the clickbait, making a video clickbait saying uh, uh, streamers hate lurkers is true. That's, that's what this is saying. We do not care. We do not want your lurk views because lurk views do not count anymore. And if you... This man is stressing me the fuck out. One, two, three. Welcome on in, Terea. If you don't count as a viewer, what good are you to the streamer. Mods are considered a viewer with or without chatting. Raiders have a two minute window that viewers, that viewership drops off back to before the raid. No, <laughs> anybody who's been on this platform for literally longer than three, no, forever. If, you, if you've been on this site since 2015, 2017, 2018, everybody. Which is trying to find uh, a way to devaluate bots in a way that they can control. Makes sense. <laughs> if you don't count as a viewer, then what good are you? Wow knows here's what happens raid comes in 1000 people join you get raided by stock guy right and your viewership goes from 10 to 9 30 let's say because there's a there's an immediate drop off that happens within five minutes within five minutes 75 percent of those people statistically will be gone true they, they'll say the raid message in chat and then they're gone. So now your number is down to something in the range of two. Uh, you're a potential viewer. And for uh, most viewers, they don't want to be told uh, they have to do in life. They and be your message slave. 200. <laughs> exactly. And you know what? A lot of those people are going to be lurkers. Most of those people will be lurkers. A lot of those people are going to be lurkers. Yeah. And as, as they unlurk, some may hang around. But statistically, they'll this drop number off. Is just going to trail off. It is. You're going to lose that over the next. It day. is, which is why we've said it and we've talked about it before. Being rated is great. Being rated is awesome. Like it might get some people to to stick around, but giant raids don't do a lot. Um, like I've been rated with 
thousands of people and and maybe gained a handful of community members out of it like it it's not it's not that i mean it's nice it's a nice sentiment it's a nice way to boost somebody um and it's a nice way to be nice but statistically you're not going to gain much out of that next hour or two or to the end of your stream it's just going to happen and that's just how raids work is be here's the deal i don't think it matters if the metric has changed across the board, then everyone will have to deal with the same issue. Yeah, exactly. So I don't know. I don't know if you if you had to get away from your desk at the beginning, but the beginning, like fifteen minutes, ten minutes, he went over kind of explaining how how viewers work and and what counts as a view. And there was a little bit of new information in there. Um, and then he jumped into the clickbait part, which is that all Twitch streamers hate lurkers. Lurkers are not, and it's not him saying it, but he's he's not. It's not him saying it, but it's him saying all streamers. So it includes himself. Yeah. So then he said all streamers hate lurkers because they don't add active chat and that view count no longer matters for discoverability. And then that's where we are. He's satire. Yeah. He's going over it. Yeah. It's definitely satire, but I mean, he's trying to make valid points and some of them are valid. But that's definitely the way it's being said. Because while raids are the best discovery method, you're giving a warm lead. You're saying, hey, guys, we're going to go raid this channel. We're going to go hang out with them. I love their content. Go hang out with them. It's great. Uh, it would be really cool if you, if you hung out there for a while. Like Every streamer says this. The reality is, if, if it, me as a viewer, maybe, it, maybe we do raid somebody. I go, hey, I actually like this person. A lot of the people that I've found that are great, I've found through raids. And I appreciate that fact. It's like, oh, cool. Awesome. This play, this person was actually great. But most most of the time, I close the browser within within five minutes. I think most people do. Like I, I don't think he's. I mean, we just went over statistically that that's what happens. So yeah, I mean, I'm the same way. Like there's sometimes I'll be able to hang out and whatever, or I'll leave it as a passive lurk uh, and then get up and go away. But I mean, statistically, that's what happens because it will affect everyone's quality. Uh, want to see yeah uh want to see the botters and embedders shut down this would work i agree and that's why i think lurking is still very helpful because lurking is a way for smaller streamers to to get um uh, uh support from their community that aren't going to pay for bots and embeds do you need to type lurk you do not need to type lurk I go, I'm out, I'm out. I got other content to watch. There's, there's, there's 10 other streamers that are currently live that I already have a, an existing viewing relationship with that I'd like to go watch them. Exactly. You know, lurkers no longer count in the viewership any longer. If you go to stream summary, go to chat messages, your highest messages will be your max view count. <sighs> Man, let's find out if it's true. Let's find out. Right, but if lurkers don't count anymore for anyone, then it's fine and everyone being an even playing field. Right. And that's where I think he was talking about like the recommended because Twitch changed it because it used to be sort high to low or low to high, which was we discussed that earlier. Um, but now with the recommended, like it just it's just a hodgepodge. The problem I have with the recommended is I have no way of knowing um, what's going to dictate that. Like if you're a brand new Twitch viewer, I have no way of telling uh, what algorithm it uses or what aggregate data it uses to tell you who's on your recommended. And then afterwards, it's going to give you recommended based on what? Who you watch? Does it go who you watch and who they watch? Like, how does it associate? Like, there's no there's no transparency on it. So the recommended is almost worse to me because I have no way of knowing um, how it's sorting that data and how to affect it. Do you know what I mean? So like, uh, it, it's it's almost as bad as as no discoverability because you can't you, you can't you can't quantify how to increase your odds of being found. Yeah, the biggest issue with Twitch is always transparency. I'll agree. Let's find out if it's true. One forty eight was max viewers, max messages fifty five. Well, one thirty. Uh, 179. That kind of goes in the opposite way. Uh, that's a 7-Eleven stream. 147 and 153. That one's close. 
and maybe because I spoke, I, I misunderstood, but I thought that they were not him, but the person they were talking about were saying you had your highest max viewers when you had the most chatting. Maybe I'm wrong. It's almost and and he's looking at like does the maximum chatters like equate to being equal to your maximum viewers? And I don't. I, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, fuck around with the algo so much every week. I know it makes it so hard to tell it's what's like going there's on. There's no real correlation here. 86 and 46. Hmm. When, when this was first happening, when this was like this first kind of sentiment was out there late February, I was like, oh, God, all right, here we go again. And like responding to people who had legitimate questions about it. And as it has gone deeper and deeper, it's just become increasingly more unhinged. And my patience with it has dropped as well, as you can tell. I feel bad. They don't break it like Twitter. That's true. That, like so many people are trying so hard to make streaming their thing and finding that growth is incredibly difficult. And instead of doing the self-reflective thing to be like, hey, how can I make my content better? How can I use TikTok to my advantage? How can I invest? How can I stream one less hour a day and, and instead do post something to YouTube? It's easier. It's easier and possibly better for discovery to just lie on, or not lie on Twitter, but to come up with with a reason why Twi it's Twitch's fault, why Twitch would actually want to, to to uh, to harm creators on, on the platform. And, and again, keep in mind, hmm. Twitch does do things like the fifty percent split that are not inherently beneficial to creators. But like to 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 kneecap themselves and be like, yeah, we don't count viewers as viewers anymore. It just it doesn't make any sense anywhere. I don't know. I, I mean, I get there was some good information in here. There's some stuff that I definitely disagree with, and that that'll be edited. We'll edit the video to make it look a little better. Um, it definitely was a clickbait title. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't know where to go where to go with that. I mean, Twitch definitely does things to handicap its creators, but it, I mean, it does good things too. I I don't know it. I had I had a point that I wanted to make something about. Um, Oh, so the one thing the one thing everybody has to remember on Twitch as a content creator is you go into any directory. It, it's like it's like if you wanted to watch TV and you went to your living room and your living room had a hundred TVs in it, and each one of those TVs had a thousand stations. And with the recommended tab, all the channels are jumbled up. So you have a, a news channel or you have a news TV and you have a sports TV and you have uh, entertainment TV and you have a gaming TV and all these things and you just sit down and you you sit on your couch and you grab your controller and you start flipping through channels and you start on the news channel the news TV and you're like mm, fuck I can't find exactly what I want I have no idea what I want I have no way to articulate it but I know what I want to see and I can switch it from views to high to low or low to high, which goes back to how we can find channels, right? Better produced channels with better communities, normally at the top, newer channels down bottom, in the middle, you're kind of guessing. Um, but with the recommended, you can't do that. Like, so you can switch it, but in this in this example, we're gonna say you can't. So it's just, it's recommended. You're just, you're, you're flipping and flipping, and you're like, fuck, none of these are what I wanna watch. At least none of them that I've found so far. What do you do? You go to the next TV. That is Twitch. So, like, it takes a lot of time on platform plus luck uh, to to be found, right? You search by keyword uh, to find random people. Yeah, so the reason Twitch is hard, among a lot of other reasons, is still and will always be competition. Like, everyone's like, oh, the discovery is so bad. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. There is so much competition. And you have to be at the top of your game every day. It's, it, yeah, like, I know, it's discoverability is bad. Discoverability is bad. No, it's, there's fucking competition out the ass for everything. Everything you want to do. And the same with YouTube. And that's why it's so tough. So you can go to other platforms and everybody's like, you know, TikTok is like, the go go spend time on TikTok now. 
you're trying to get in some place where not everybody has flooded the market and you're trying to grab a hold of market share before it becomes so convoluted that you can't grab market share. Um, because if you think, oh, well, Discovery's bad on TikTok or Discovery's bad on, on Twitch, so go to YouTube. Oh, it's so flooded. Go to TikTok. TikTok's just the new thing. You're just trying to get in before it gets oversaturated. Um, and that doesn't always mean it's going to work. And that doesn't mean that the TikTok viewers are going to translate to Twitch viewers or that YouTube viewers are going to be Twitch viewers or Twitch viewers are going to be YouTube viewers or whatever. Um, so that's my thoughts on this video. Uh, we're going to cut a lot of this out. A lot of the stuff in the beginning to explain the how Twitch views work. And then we're going to get into the meat and bone about the, the Twitch lurkers. Um, and then we're going to go from there. So... There was that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my ranting a little bit. Um, I wanted to I wanted to do that because I heard about the video and I wanted to see it. Do you know what I mean?